let's go to page 226 in, with number 1. So you have 1 half minus 1 third plus 1 sixth. Okay, so you, when you're adding fraction, you need to get common denominator. Now, this is not the equation. So this is not the equation. So uh, you cannot just multiply by 6. This is what a lot of people would do. They multiply by 6, okay, and they cancel out. So you get 3 and then minus 2 plus 1. Okay, so a lot of people would do that. Okay, cannot do that. Again, this is not the equation, okay. You only can do that if it's like an equation, like, you know, like equal to x or something, okay? But this is not an equation, so do not do that, okay? You only can multiply if it's an equation. Okay? When, you, when, you have, when you don't have an equal sign, that means it's an expression. So expression, you have, to, you have to use the common denominator and you have to hang on to the common denominator. Okay, so first you've got to figure your LCD. So step one, L LCD equal to six. Okay, so here's step two. I'm writing down the step. So step two is get your common denominator. Okay? And step three, you figure what you need to multiply. From here to here, from two to six, you need to multiply by three. Okay? And step four, you go and multiply. So two times three give you six, one times three give you three. Okay? So same thing over here. From here to here, you need to multiply by two. So 3 times 2 give you 6, 1 times 2 give you 2. This one is always the same, but you don't do anything. Then step 5, you just go and put everything all together. Okay, so once you have a common denominator, you can go and combine. So 3 minus 2 is 1, plus 1 is 2. And then you step 6, you can go and simplify, so you get 1 third. Okay, so make sure you know your steps. Okay, so let's go to number 3. You got 4 over 15 plus 5 over 12 minus 1 over 2. So first you need to get your LCD. Okay? So LCD, again, you go and do, if you're not sure, just go and do this, right? So LCD is like a, like a this common multiple. Okay? So, so as long as two numbers can divide, you can go and divide. So 2 and 12, you can divide by 2. It would be 15, 6, and 1. And both of these are divisible by 3. So it would be 5 and 2, okay, and that's it. So your LCD would be everything all together. And when you multiply, you know, go and do this. So 2 times 5 is 10. So this is 10, this is 6. So 6 times 10 gives you 60. Okay, so that's your step 1. Get your LCD. So step 2, okay, go ahead and... Step 2, go ahead and get your LCD. Okay. So make sure you do the step two before you worry about anything on the top. Okay, so step three, okay, figure out what you need to multiply. So from here to here, you need to multiply by four. So 15 times four gives you 60, four times four gives you 16. Okay, so that's your step four. Step three is figure out what you need to multiply. Step four is going to multiply. Okay, so from here to here, you need to multiply by five. So 12 times five gives you 60, five times five gives you 25. And this one you need to times by 30. So you get 30 on the top. So once you do that, you can do the, um, the common denominator. And you can go and add this together. So 16 plus 25 will give you 41. Minus 30 will give you 11. And check see if you can simplify. And cannot, so this is it. Okay. So every problem you do exactly the same way. Okay? So let's go to number five. You have x minus two over three plus x plus four over six. So step one, get your LCD. So LCD is going to, this one is easy, so you can just figure it's six, okay? So step two. Now, you don't have to write down the steps, but I'm writing it down to help you to memorize. So step two, again, don't worry about anything on the top. Get the de common denominator first. That's your step two, okay? So get your LCD down here. Step three and step four is, is what you need to multiply. So three to six, you need to multiply by two, right? So write it down so it can help you to visualize. So three times two give you six. Now x minus two times two will give you two x minus four, right? Two times x give you two x. Two times negative two give you negative four. So go and multiply out already. Okay, 
If not, then you're going to lose track of what you're doing. This one, that's nothing to multiply, so you can just keep it the same. And this one, is, this is addition, so it's fairly easy. You can just go and put everything together already, so you can go and add everything together. Now, if it's a subtraction, you have to pay close attention. You have to do additional steps. So when you add, this will give you 3x, and this will cancel out, okay? So that's your step five. And then after that, you have to simplify. So step six, this will equal to uh, x over two, and that's it. Okay, let's go to number seven. Okay, you have 12 over 7d minus three over 14 Okay, so you can step one, get your LCD. Now LCD, again, you do the, the number, then the alphabet. Okay, so 7 and 14 is going to give you 14. D and D will give you D. So your LCD is 14D. Okay, so go and get your, so step two, get your 14D, 14D. Again, always get your um, LCD done first before you worry about what's going on the top. So that's your step two. Okay, step three and four is figure out what you need to multiply and then multiply. So 7D to 14D, you need to multiply by two. Okay, so that's your step three. Figure out what you need to multiply. Step four is multiply out. So seven, so bottom is 7D. 7D times two give you 14D. The top, 12 times two give you 24. This one, you do not do anything, so just keep it like that. Now, this one is fairly simple. This one, that's... It's a subtraction, but there's nothing else, so you can just kind of do it. So 24 minus 3 gives you 21 over 14D, okay? And then step 6, you simplify. So step 5 is you combine the terms, and then you simplify. So you can uh, divide by 7, so you get 3 over 2D. And that's it for number 7. So again, you don't have to write the steps. I'm just writing to help you to follow. Okay. Um, that, okay. Let's go to number nine. Okay, you have a x plus one over x minus x minus one over x squared. Again, do not cancel out the terms. Do not cancel out the x. Okay. So go through the same steps. So step one, LCD. Now you got x and x squared, so you have your, this common denominator will be x squared. So that's your step one. So step two, you can get your template ready. Okay, get your LCD down here. You can always get your LCD before you worry about anything on the top. Okay, then you step three and step four. Okay, figure out what you need to multiply. So from here to here, you need to multiply by x. Okay, therefore, the bottom, x times x give you x squared. On the top, when you multiply, you're going to get x squared plus x. Over here, this one does not do anything. Now, this is where you have to be very careful, okay? This is a subtraction. So, if it's subtraction, you want to do additional steps, okay? So, you need to go and make x squared plus x, and you have to distribute the negative. So, it be minus x, then minus negative 1 become plus 1. So, for a subtraction, you want to be extra careful extra step and so number step six you can go and put them together so this combine the like terms this cancel out, so you're going to get x squared plus one and this one you don't factor and do again do not cancel out the x squared because this is a term whenever you see addition subtraction okay that those are terms so do not cancel out terms and so this is it Okay, let's go to number 11. You have 3u plus 8 over 4u minus u plus 6 over 3u. Okay, so again, step 1, get your LCD. Step 1, LCD is going to be equal to um, uh, 3 and 4 is 12 and alpha base u. Okay, so that's your step 1. So step 2. Get your template ready, so you can get your 12u, 12u. Okay, so step three and step four, figure out what you need to multiply and multiply. So from four to 12, you need to multiply by three. You want to write it kind of small and kind of light, okay? And so you multiply, you're going to get 9u plus 24. 
over here from 3 to 12 you need to multiply by 4 so from here you're going to get 4u plus 24 okay 4 times u is 4u 4 times 6 is 24 again it's a subtraction so you need to do extra step okay so you got 12u so over here you're going to get 9u plus 24 minus 4u again you have to distribute so minus 4u minus 24 okay so step 6 you want to simplify okay so that's going to combine the like terms so 9u and minus 4u will give you 5u and this one and this one cancels out okay and so the u and the u will cancel out so your answer would be just 5 over 12. Okay, let's go to number 13. Yeah, 1 over 2 uv to the 4 plus 1 over u cubed v squared. Okay, so step 1, LCD. LCD is, again, just go, number will be 2, go down the alphabet, U and U3, so you need to get U to the 3, V4 and V squared will give you V to the 4, okay? So that's, again, go number, alphabet, and then after that, go and get your, step 2 is get your LCD ready, so be 2U to the 3, V to the 4, 2U to the 3, V to the 4, now we do the step 3 and 4. So from here to here, what you need to multiply? Again, just go down number and the alphabet. So you need to multiply by u square, and that's it. So you're going to get u square. Okay, over here, you need to multiply by 2 and the u and the v square. Okay, again, number, alphabet. So it would be 2v square. Then after that, um, step 5. You can just go, now it's addition, so you can just kind of just add together already. Okay. And you check, see if you can factor anything to cancel anything, so cannot. Okay, so this, that's it. Okay, let's go to 15. Okay, so you got 4s to the negative 2 minus t to the negative 2. Now this one you have to be extremely careful. Remember, the Exponent is only for what is immediately before it. So the 4 does not get flipped over. Only the S gets flipped over to the bottom. This one, the T gets flipped, uh, flipped, uh, flipped to the bottom. So you end up with that. Okay. So you can be careful. Do not flip the 4 to the bottom because the exponent is only for the S. Exponent is always for what is before it. Okay. Okay. So now we need to go ahead and uh, get the go through the steps. So step one, LCD. Uh, so number alphabet. So you need to have S square, T square. Okay, so that would be your L, uh, LCD. So go and get your LCD ready. So that's your step two. Get your LCD ready. S square, T square. S square, T square. Okay, so now you look from here to here. You need to so step three and step four. You need to figure out what you need to multiply. So you, you need to multiply by t squared. So you're going to get 4t squared. From here to here, you need to multiply by s squared. So you're going to get s squared. Okay, so now it's subtraction. Now, there's only one term over here. So step 5, you can just put them together. So you got 4t squared minus s squared. On the bottom, you're going to get s squared t squared. And this is factorable, so that's going to factor that. So step six, you want to simplify things a little bit. So this is the step 2a, the, the, the difference of squares. So you're going to get 2t, 2t plus s minus s. On the bottom, you get s squared, t squared. And that's it. Okay, let's go to number 17. You got x over yz 
plus y over I'm going to, okay, zx plus z over xy. Again, step one, look for LCD, so I can just go down the number in an alphabet. So alphabet, uh, you need to have the x, the y, and the z, okay? So again, step two, get your x, get your LCD, x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. Step three and four, so from here to here, you need to multiply by uh, x. So you're going to get x squared. Over here, you're missing the y, so you need to multiply by y, so you get y squared. From here to here, you're missing the z, so you, you get z squared, and you can add all this together. So you can get your common denominator, and over here, you can just add all this together, so you get x squared plus y squared plus z squared and nothing to factor and so that's it okay let's go to number 19 you have 1 over 4x squared minus 1 over xy plus 1 over y squared so again step 1 get your LCD okay so the number is 4 the alphabet uh, the you have the x and x squared so you need to have x squared you got y and y squared so you need to have y squared Okay, so go and get your template ready. So you need to have a 4x squared, y squared, 4x squared, y squared, 4x squared, y squared, right? So that's your step two. Okay, next, let's go and figure out what goes on the top. So from here to here, you need to multiply by y squared. So that's what you're missing. So you need to have y squared. From here to here, you're missing the x and the y and the 4. So multiply, you're going to get 4xy. From here to here, you need to multiply by 4x squared. So you're going to get 4x squared. Okay, then after that, you can, uh, oh, this is a plus. So we're going to put all this together. So you, and good thing there's only one term in each part. So you're going to get y squared minus 4xy uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch the term. I'm going to put x in the front. So when I add, okay, I'm going to get 4x squared min, uh, minus 4xy plus y squared. Okay, I'm going to put the terms in the correct order. And from there, uh, notice this is a perfect square. So you're going to get 2x minus y. Okay. And you got 4x squared, y squared, and that's it. Okay. Now in the book, the book in the book they didn't switch. So in the book they have the y squared minus 4xy plus 4x squared over 4x squared y squared. So when you factor, you end up with y minus 2x squared over 4x squared y squared. Okay. So either answer is acceptable. Okay. And they're the same, because what happens is that, notice this is negative of this, right? So this is negative of that, but when you have negative 1 squared, you get positive 1, right? So again, this is negative 1 of these, but because of square, negative 1 squared will equal this 1. So that's why they are equal, okay? So again, you can do either one. Okay, let's go to number 21. Okay, you got 4 over t minus 3 plus 1 over 3 minus t. Okay, now notice this is t minus 3, this is 3 minus t. So before you even figure out LCD, what you want to do is you want to use, the, uh, you want to switch this. So again, plus, see the plus is made of two negatives, okay? So you can use one of the negative to switch that. And so this one is this one here. And this one, you use it to flip uh, the, the subtraction. And now you don't even need to get LCD because you have the LCD already. Okay? So this will just equal to 3 over t minus 3. And that's it. So sometimes you kind of have to look a little bit. Okay, okay let's go to 23. Okay, you have 5 over x minus 3 over x plus 5. Okay, so step 1, LCD. Now LCD, now this is a now this is the alphabet, this is the group. So they are not the same. Okay? Even though you have an X over here, 
again, I kind of use the illustration of this is like an apple and this is like a pineapple. So they are very different things. Even both have an apple in there, right? Okay, so just be careful with that. So your LCD would be X and the X plus five, okay? So step two, get your common denominator. And step three and four, figure out what you need to multiply. So from here to here, you're missing the x plus five. So you need to multiply. So you're gonna get five x plus 25. This one from here to here, you're missing the x. So multiply, you get three x. Now this, there's only one term up here, so you can just subtract already. So this would equal to two x plus 25 over x, x plus five. And you can check see if anything's factorable and nothing can factor, so that's it. Okay. Okay, let's go to number twenty-five. Okay, you have one over s squared minus s plus one over x squared plus s. So before you get your LCD, you need to go and factor in first. Okay, so you got S minus one, and you got S, S plus one. So your LCD is gonna be equal to S, S plus one, S minus one. Okay, so go and get your template ready. So it'd be S, S plus one, S minus one, S, S plus one, S minus one. So, uh, so from here to here, you need to have a S plus one. So you're gonna get S plus one. This one, you need to multiply by S minus one, so you get S minus one. So when you add all this together, you're gonna get two S over S, S plus one, S minus one, and the S cancels out, so you get two over S plus one, uh, S minus one. And that's it. Okay, let's go to 27. You got one over x squared minus one, minus one over x minus one square. Again, first you need to factor that first. So you got x plus one, x minus one. Okay, so your LCD is gonna be um, x plus one, and you got x minus one square, because that, that's a double over here. So go and get your template ready. So x plus one, x minus one, square, x plus one, x minus one, square. So from here to here, you need to multiply by x minus one. So you get x minus one. From here to here, you need to multiply by x plus one. So you get x plus one. Okay, and so now again, subtraction, you have to be extra careful, be minus x minus one. Okay, so this will give you, so this cancels out, so you got minus two over x plus one over x minus one squared. And, uh, and that's it.